going on guys? PGZ36 here, and I'm here to give you something a little different. We're going to be doing a game review off of ATV Offroad Fury 2. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's get on to the review. ATV Offroad Fury 2. A game so simple, yet so fun. An ATV game, off-road racing game, with a bunch of content, content built into it. And a an amazing um, memorial game to try out. ATV Offroad Fury 2 was made by Rainbow Studios in 2002, around a time where a bunch of off-road view, off-road racing and stuff was very popular. That's what I think. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and basically, it's meant to be like a racing game. Well, obviously, it's off-road racing, so. It obviously is racing, but it also includes a bunch of other content, including freestyle, um, free ride, um, endo, um, stadium racing, and much more. So we're gonna be breaking down these 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 modes into three different categories. There's gonna be controls, there's gonna be graphics, and there's gonna be gameplay. So and. There's gonna be most as well, a fourth one. So, let's start off with mode one, gameplay. So first up is gameplay, and I gotta say, this is one solid gameplay. You basically can just basically pop this into the into the PlayStation 2 and just just basically have a have a blast. It has a great solid um, graphics, so the graphics are nice and smooth. It has a great control set, which is very optional, so you can constantly choose which one you you want it. Like if you want to have it as the X or as another, but we'll get that into the controls. And it has an excellent, an excellent sound sound test to it. Almost every sound from the ATVs is near perfect to replicating real ATVs. And I've heard real ATVs before. I've actually been in rip and driving ATVs before, so I know what they sound like. And this is very, really, really accurate to that. And another thing it has it has great music set. It has some some of the best ones like What's Golden, Paragraph of President, um, 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 oh, um, Thick Skin, um, what else, um, Boom Shakalaka, and much more. It's definitely one solid gameplay to check out. Another thing, one more thing, I gotta say, I love, I love the voice clips in the, in the game, <laughs> wherever you crash or anything, it's, it's really funny. It'd be like, ah! Uh, Ooh, ooh, mainly loud grunts or moans or something. It's, <laughs> I always find it funny. And I always just love it when you get launched and they just scrape. Yeah! <laughs> it's really funny. Uh. So next up we got graphics. And, good golly, this game has some great graphics in it the frame rate is always keeps a high high smoothness on it but it rarely ever lags except when you play multiplayer because when that when you play multiplayer the frames do drop a bit on that and i don't know why like 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 the best the best um notice of this if you go into like first person like if you're going over a jump in single player you can see how easily smooth the the graphics are like when you're like turning it's so smooth and easy but when you're like doing it in multiplayer it has like a bit of a delay which is has a little lag to it but when it lags it usually is either for like a glitch or it's just to like to calm the frame rate down i don't know i don't know why it lags but it does it's not bad enough to like affect the whole game and it does it does age well the the graphics really do age well. 
it has a nice good scenery to it i love that all i love that all like the um, graphics have their own like scenery to it so like you have like um and see you have like a winter one you got like um a lake one you have like um a jungle one you got um mountains you got a desert you got a canyon you got a bunch of different sceneries i i honestly think that's really helpful game i gotta say too <laughs> it's even noticeable to see the pixelation like in the game like if you look if you look really, really close, you can actually see like the little pixels and everything. <laughs> I don't know if that has anything to do with this or not, but whatever. And the game, and no, not gameplay. Graphics is just, oh man. If you could tell, you could tell that the creators put so much, um, so much time working on the graphics and testing. Because it's really, really smooth. Now we are on to the controls, and my lord, the controls are fantastic. Every single every single button or stick that you push or move is completely responsive. Like for simple, if you just press X, it it immediately responds for it as go. And if you want to turn, like turn right, you press the D-pad or the analog. And it turns exactly the way you want it to. It also includes a trick, a trick system, which is meant for points. Like if you like do like a bunch of like a bashing with the buttons, it brings up a bunch of point skills. Or even just simple like up, triangle, left, circle. There's even the L and R1 buttons. Basically, if you press that, you can do like super um super points that you can do like flyman holy man um there's um heart attack thing and if you hold it for much longer you can actually um make the points go higher for as long as you go into the air just make sure to let go of the button when you when you land because you will crash Another thing that's a huge advantage in this is the con is there is the control set. Basically, you can go in into control setting and basically um set your controls on how you want it to be. So, like if you want to customize customize controls, that's what I meant. So, if you want to like switch up the switch up the um the 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 go button and the trick system you could do that make that from being the the circle and the square circle triangle and x button and make that be the l2 and r2 and l l1 and r1 buttons for go stop points you name it and switch the regular buttons for like point system something like that 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 gives it a huge advantage definitely definitely want to have a game with responsive controls and this game is definitely that correction and finally we are on to the last one the modes and this game has tons of content modes in it you got the main ones like racing and freestyle but there's also other ones that you can participate in and complete. There is championship mode, which is basically you race to be the champion. There is the the waypoint, the waypoint race, where basically you got where you have to do go no pro. There's the endor ones where you have to go through a certain type of gate and reach the end to complete. And then you also got short tracks in it. They're basically just smaller versions of the tracks. But another another advantage to the races is that they got pro and amateur national pro amateur nationals and supercross. So like if you want to do a national or a supercross, 
And if you go want to go on easy, you can do it amateur. But if you want to go for like a pro one, you go for like the pro supercross or the pro nationals. Another thing it has in this too is a waypoint editor. Basically, what you can do is um customize your own um waypoint editor and create your own ender waypoints the way you want to on a map. So if you want to make it like go like off a hill or something you definitely can you can do that another thing it has is a training course basically it's just for anyone who's who's new to the game and basically just want to discover the controls but let's be honest this is just more like a special like free ride area with an announcer in it other than that you do get to unlock the the color yellow on try on ATVs basically the red the red the blue the green and the yellow four uh, main colors of the of the try on ATVs so that's that's a cool um that's a cool feature to it the trail on oh yeah it is trip trail on <laughs> sorry yeah my bad, the trailer on ATV set. <laughs> Except for the for the orange one. That one you have to unlock. So luckily there is a, a shop that you can do. That's another thing that this has. Basically what you do is you go into a um, profile editor. You go into unlock items. And then you basically you find what what items you want to you get you can get ATVs, equipment, games, racks, and even put in cheat codes. Which, by the way, cheat codes are really good. You have a bunch of ones like flight paper, um, I give up, which basically um, unlocks everything, and a bunch of other ones. You can get one where it unlocks uh, another map, and your Frito Island, and that that's really cool. So. Another thing it has in the advantage is the multiplayer modes. Basically, in multiplayer modes, you can have like you can have a bunch of um basically um play a bunch of mini mini games. But, well, not mini games. Yeah, it has some extra games thrown in. It has four different ones. Um, there's tag. Basically, you go and um tag, which you play with a with a with a with a beach ball for some reason I don't I have no idea why but that's 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 what it is there's um there's um there's oh wait, what else um oh yeah right there's um there's treasure hunt basically like a target test version of treasure hunt where you go and um Try to collect all the targets and stuff. There's um hockey, which is really really fun. I recommend trying out hockey because that that is a whole lot of fun, especially if you do it with four players. Basically, you try to get the puck in a in the goal. It's really fun. Though the camera is a bit um wanky and confusing. And the last thing it has is um. King of the Hill. Basically, in King of the Hill, what you do is um, you gotta jump over a bunch of lights, but you have to do a trick to like claim the claim the light. And if you do it correctly, the light will glow your color. So like if you're player one, it'll it'll go like to player one. If you're player two, it'll go to like player two. So that's really that's really uh fun thing it too that's definitely if you're playing multiplayer they're play for free ride or do for the mini for the mini games races others because it's really really fun in the end ATV offered fear to create a game that's not basically meant for like hardcore stuff but basically for a challenge and entertainment of fun because that's what basically what this game is. It's a fun trip down game where you can just pick up, have a blast, have fun with friends. 
like a, like a party game, but in a racing game. That's something special. That that really is. As a huge fan of the game, I'll always appreciate the game for that. Because without this game, I probably wouldn't be here right now. So thank you, ATV Offer here too, for creating the best memory, creating what I am today. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. And make sure to share this with friends and family so they can check out the review as well. And if you want to, you can also check out my other videos I recommend. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like as well and put a comment to tell me what you think about this review. So, I wish you all good luck and I hope you all enjoyed it. Peace out and keep it rated PGZ36. It's the gamers. Thank you.